So apparently over the weekend, Warner Brothers did a test screening of Matt Reeves' upcoming The Batman film, and so far everything coming out of it seems to be pretty positive, which is always good news for us fans. Before I hop into the article, if you could, please hit the like button on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps not only the channel, but also the video circulate and do all the YouTube things that it's supposed to do. So I would greatly appreciate it if you could. Now hopping into this article here from LRM Online, which I have never been on this website before, but I did see the tweets that are that are in the article circulate on Twitter. So I have seen these tweets, so it's not just some you know random kind of thing. But what the article says here that the cut uh, for Matt Reeves' film was around three hours long. Now, I, I would assume that this is probably going to be trimmed down a little bit because I know uh, these studios don't really like these long of films, but you never know. Um, and I'll let everyone who did uh, view this film also had to sign NDNA so they couldn't spoil anything, but they were able to put out these kind of spoiler-free reviews and kind of give you an idea of what the film at least felt like. So the tweets come from Blu-ray Angel, and it says, exclusive, I know someone who has seen the Batman, a uh, friend of mine, and a really good person, and here's what they told me, thread, no spoilers. Now, let's take that with a grain of salt, right? He's This guy didn't see it himself. Obviously, this is a friend of him, a friend of his who is telling him this, so it is what it is. But the Batman movie is a horror movie. Very graphic, very dark, very scary. Paul Dano is effing crazy, so effing scary, I loved every second. Okay, so Paul Dano is who's going to be playing the Riddler, which obviously they're going to make him to be some type of, like, uh, murderer or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. So, now, when they say Batman is a horror movie, very graphic, very dark, very scary, I kind of like the darker versions of these superhero movies, but it's kind of confusing hearing this because I thought they wanted to get away from those kind of movies. I think, from my understanding... They didn't really like the Zack Snyder feel, the darker films. They wanted to kind of go more of the Marvel route. So the fact that this is a, you know, something completely different, it's a little interesting. Now, again, it's I'm holding off and, and just going to wait and see, but that sounds different for sure. I don't know how to take it. Um the the Riddler, I never really saw him as kind of like a you know, like a a killer like that in that sense. So I guess we'll see what what kind of take they do with the the Riddler, but it, I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So um, it also says that the yeah it was three hours long. Uh, their thoughts on Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. I have a million things to say about Catwoman. She's my favorite. Holy blank, uh, definitely my favorite Catwoman. Now that's not the most appealing picture, at least to me. <laughs> but I guess we'll wait and see. I don't think uh, you know. It's going to be hard for anyone to pass up Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. I mean, that was pretty iconic. So it's been done before. Uh, we always think like, oh, you can't do a better Joker, this, that, and the other. But I guess we'll see. Um, also said their thoughts on Robert Pattinson's uh, Batmobile. Holy effing shit. That effing Slade. Now, anytime somebody uses Slade to describe something, I automatically just null and void what they said. Because that's that's the dumbest term I've ever heard. So, uh, I, I don't know. I think the Batmobile, it looks different for sure. I wasn't too excited about it on the initial, like, limited photographs that we've seen. Again, I'm keeping an open mind, and we'll see how it, how it plays out. But, uh, closing opinion. There's a scene at the end that literally had everyone screaming. Everyone gasped. Like, it was a big no way for everyone. I don't give an F about Batman or DC. That That's a red flag for me. And even I clenched onto a knee and was shook. It's the biggest, supposedly, or mic drop. So that's where now I come into question what this person's saying. They're not the biggest Batman or DC fan. So when they're all excited about these things, if you don't know these characters, like, for example, the Riddler, right? Riddler's really not like a, a, a murderer in that sense. Um, it it kind of worries me that their opinion, like... Clearly, this is like just, I would say, a normie that doesn't know anything about Batman. They're just there to watch a Batman film, and they don't care. So that kind of worries me in a sense. And like I said, I'm not the biggest nerd or uh, about lore of, of most comics, but I do know a lot about Batman. Batman's one of my favorites, especially from the DC world. So that kind of worries me a little bit. But, you know, obviously, it says here they do set it up for, like, a sequel. And... I guess we'll wait and see. So, um, 
Now fans never like to be expecting some kind of twist in the story. However, this could be anything, a villain cameo, something else entirely. So I don't feel like it's a spoiler to know the audience all reacted strongly to a moment in the film. Uh, finally, it apparently it's apparently obvious that a sequel is being set up for the Batman. And we, I, I think, I would hope everyone knew that going into this, they were going to do that. They're not going to, this is not going to be a one and done thing. They, uh, supposedly all the reports, they want Robert Pattinson to stay as Batman and continue that universe so I, it's, I don't think that's really a a, a, a spoiler in, in the sense uh, it also says here update i just asked if the batman sets up for a sequel and here's what they said yes definitely sequel that's the oh shit moment i genuinely felt like they're going to start a whole collection of rob pattinson's batman movies and circle through different villains maybe so again not really surprising they i think they want to go this route and kind of put uh, ben Affleck's Batman on the back burner and make it go away, but um, I'm I'm a little mixed on this and the review. Uh, the whole a horror movie, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to wait and see. I, like I said, I like darker films, so I'm intrigued. But I just hope they stay true to the characters and they don't just run with it. Uh, you know, we've I've heard things before where you know they're just putting labels on things. Obviously, like the Riddler, and they're making the character itself. They're like basically reinventing the character, which I don't like that. I would rather you just make a brand new villain. Or there's other villains out there that you can use that kind of fit this description of what they've turned the Riddler into. Um, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm a little interested. Uh, I mean, I'm glad the reviews are positive. But the horror movie thing, I don't know. That, that kind of... I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn. So what do you think? Does this something excites you? Does this get you more pumped up for the film? Does it worry you? Like I said, a lot of people are kind of built into that narrative of uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and not a lot of people, listen, the Ben Affleck's Batman, you either loved or hated him. There was no in between. So the fact that they went the dark graphic route, I think is going to have fans split depending on how they do it. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you think below. I always love hearing your guys' thoughts on what your opinions are on the movie or whatever my takes are on whatever I'm talking about. So, so like I said, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would appreciate it as well. So until next time, guys, take care.